Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Harris and you're watching Possible Now. So guys, today I'm going to guide you about how you can fix Fortnite crash on your PC or laptop. And if you face a Tina crash reporter error or any kind of crash you face in Fortnite, then this video is for you. Just watch the video till the end and if you're new on this channel, kindly like this video, share it with you and subscribe to the channel for more content and without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, before starting the video, let me introduce you the best tool for fixing ping and input lag issues in your games, Gira Poster. It's simple and easy to use. You can try it out with a 3 days free trial. All you need to do is add your game, click once and you're good to go. Check out the link in the description to get started. So guys, method number one is you need to verify your game files. So for this, you need to open your Epic Games Launcher and uh, you need to find uh, here in Fortnite and click on three dots. Now uh, click to manage and uh, here guys, you need to click on verify and uh, uh, this method will automatically uh, verify your game files and in case any of the uh, game file is corrupted then this step will fix your problem and uh, in here guys the second thing is you need to uh, set the launch options enable the uh, launch options and uh, in the uh, dashboard in the dash bar here you need to type here dash d3d11 because we need to run uh, fortnite in a rendering mode like uh, dx11 or performance mode so set d3d11 so after that close the tab and the next thing you need to update your graphics driver so for this you need to open your nvidia geforce experience if you are an nvidia user and simply go to the uh, drivers tab here now here guys you need to simply click on check for updates and it will automatically check for latest drivers uh, in your pc so uh, it's done now for AMD user guys, uh, you need to uh, do the same steps in your Radon software. So guys, after that, the next thing is you need to delete some junk or bad files in your PC. So for this, you need to press Windows key plus R. And uh, here guys, you need to type here first command, prefetch P-R-E-F-E-T-C-H. So after that, press OK, click to continue control a select all and delete these files guys so skip the step and one more command we use here again press window key plus r and this time we need to type here percentage temp temp again percentage and press ok now control a select all and delete these files also now skip the step It will take some time so after that guys you need to remove all these files from the recycle bin also here now guys, the next thing you need to uh, go to your settings because we need to close some applications uh, from the background so for this you need to so for this you need to type here in the research bar settings and uh, here you need to go to the privacy section and disable these four settings in general tab and down below uh, go to the background apps and turn off all the background apps running in the background so after that turn back and move to the gaming section and uh, turn off game bar section and turn on your game mode in the settings menu now close the tab and the next thing guys you need to open your task manager and check your cpu space from here if your cpu space is uh, under the 50 percent then it's good you're good to go you're ready to launch your game but in case is if any of the program or software running uh, in your background while you play your game then you need to turn off that program then simply right click on it and end task that program and free your cpu space from there and guys the next thing is you need to 
adjust in game settings so launch fortnite and go to settings now lower the graphic settings such as shadows textures and effects and set the running mode to performance mode or dx11 mode for improved stability and higher fps in your game and the last thing guys is you need to update your windows so for this you need to go to settings go to update security windows update and check for updates install any pending updates and restart your pc so guys by following these steps you should be able to resolve most fortnite crash issues if you found this video helpful kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out